The tail of the de Havilland Beaver float plane, the only part of the aircraft recognizable from the air 24 hours after the crash that claimed three lives. The aircraft, equipped to land on water and land, took off from Kelowna shortly before 7 p.m. Sunday, heading back to its home in Pitt Meadows after dropping off an unidentified passenger in Kelowna. Shortly after takeoff, the emergency beacon was activated, but no mayday, suggesting the pilot didn't have time to radio in for help. Chris Cobell was on the connector heading home to Penticton when he saw the plane at treetop level before crashing. He rushed to the scene, but the flames kept him back. Fire everywhere, the trees were on fire, the ground, not much left of the, um, the plane. Mostly the only thing that we could really resemble was the tail end of the plane. The fact the plane was amphibious lends to the speculation that the pilot may have been trying to land on the connector before crashing into the trees at the edge of the highway. Investigators believe they know who was on the plane, but say confirmation will take some time. They'll also be looking closely at other clues, including snap treetops and damage to the terrain to determine if the aircraft was running before impact. Kelly Hayes, Castanet Media.